you've reached the depths of our oceans. The Mariana Trench is a deep trench in the Pacific Ocean. Your submarine is suddenly rocked by an earthquake, and when you glance outside, you can see what's causing it. The 15-centimeter teeth of the Megalodon, the world's largest apex predator, are unmistakable. It would be like being crushed by three African elephants stacked on top of each other if you were bitten by this beast. We know a lot more about Mars surface than we do about our own waters. And with barely 15% of our seas investigated, who's to say there aren't ancient predators lurking deep beneath the waves? The Mariana Trench's deepest portion, Challenger Deep, is 10,984 meters deep. Mount Everest could be submerged in it and yet have two kilometers left over. That appears to be ample parking for a megalodon or two. The Mariana Trench, on the other hand, is a strange, cold, and cruel realm shrouded in complete darkness. Throughout the year, the temperature stays about 2 degrees. See, the pressure is 1,000 times greater than at sea level at its worst. So, what if the world's largest apex predator was never extinct, as we thought? What if it adapted to this hostile environment and is now waiting for you to feed it? The megalodon ate the equivalent of one and a half cows every day two million years ago. This diet, however, would be ineffective for this ancient warm water apex predator. There is no photosynthesis in the Mariana Trench because sunlight does not reach the depths. And without photosynthesis, there isn't much food, so deep-sea organisms rely on scavenging the rotting carcasses of plants and animals from the ocean's upper layers. Food can be stored for months in the expanded stomachs of larger animals. Others survive by being extremely small and requiring less nourishment. Our megalodon would be a few thousand years old if it was near to its prehistoric size. The Portuguese dogfish and the Greenland shark may also be on the menu. The megalodon would swim to the ocean's upper reaches at night to feed, then, during the day, return to the deep. Our hungry megalodon might even capture some juicy gigantic squid if he's lucky. So what's keeping it from devouring your flimsy 10,700 kilogram submarine? Its teeth and bones, on the other hand, may be in bad shape. Proteins and calcium begin to melt and degrade under the tremendous pressure of the Mariana Trench. The hadal snailfish, the world's deepest diving fish, is made out of flexible cartilage rather than bones. Piezolites are molecules found in all deep-sea organisms. Their role is to keep the pressure from crushing the other molecules. The megalodon in the Mariana Trench would surely need to stock up on some of those. Our megalodon would have to be warm-blooded in order to sustain its body temperature. It would have to either become bioluminescent or grow gigantic eyes like a big squid to navigate in utter darkness. Its skin could evolve to allow it to feel its way about in a more tactile way. It might be able to store more food if it has an expanded stomach. In addition, teeth that face inward could prevent slippery prey from fleeing. Would it still be the fearsome megalodon? We know, if it had so many bespoke fittings and alterations to its genetic structure. Almost certainly not, so you may plan your trip to the Mariana Trench without worrying about being eaten by a massive shark. Maybe you'd be up for a little research project while you're there. It's as if you've dug a hole in the Mariana Trench. But hey, you're used to it. Wait for a different video.